Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. My name is Jennifer, if you're new here, nice to meet you. I'm showing you my bare face. This is what I normally look like when I go thrifting. Nothing, because I always go early in the mornings. I don't have time to be putting on makeup just to go shopping in a thrift store. I'm just going to show you what I got the past couple two weeks. I hope you enjoy. This is the first thrift store I went to. It's a local one. This first item I had been eyeing the week prior. I didn't buy it because it was full price, and they priced it at $15, which is very excessive. The following week, they changed the color for blue to be 74% off, so I ended up picking it up. wanted to update my gym clothes for the new year. This next item is a vintage sweatshirt. The price is really cheap. It's only a dollar. It's just a basic vintage cut and feel. It's just simple, great for the chilly season, cozying up at home studying or with your mans. I don't know what you're doing. This next sweatshirt is also a vintage one. It is a Rose Bowl Stanford 2000. I just like it because of the embroidery, the color is still in great condition. Once again, it's just a classic cozy crew neck fit. This next item I also saw the week prior. I didn't buy it because once again, it was priced at $10, which is pretty high. But since this week, the blue was 74% off, I got it. It's just this simple Puma uh, Mahanulao. I think it's a collaboration with whatever that brand is. It's a simple workout tank. I like a minimal strap so that way if I do exercise outside I don't get too bad of a racerback tan line because I tan really easily so this is nice when it's thinner. This next item once again is a workout item. I'm really trying to update my workout gear. If I don't end up liking any of these items I'll definitely post it. But anyways this is a Victoria's Secrets workout tank. It's just a sleeveless muscle tee. Back is where all the magic is happening. As you can see there's a bunch of cutouts. It's like a ladder step down thing and on the sides it's also a mesh. The last item from this day and it's my favorite by far. I'd be a fake fan if I did wear it. However I really love the design of it and and it's a true vintage piece and it's by Starter. Extra, extra large. Starter, Bulls, Pinstripe, Jersey shirts thing. <laughs> I just love the color scheme. I love the embroidery and I love that it's a vintage piece. It just says Bulls. Loving it. I wish I found a Lakers one because I would definitely keep that. The same thrift store but this is the week prior. I also got another pair of Nike shorts. These ones are mint color and these ones were also 75% off I believe. Yeah, see they priced them so high at $15. I would never pay that much for just Nike shorts. Once again, almost the same style as the first pair I showed you. Except this one's mint and it doesn't have a pocket. This next item I found in the vintage section and it's this really nice, really unique 80s windbreaker bomber type of thing. It's wrinkled right now but I just need to steam it. And what I actually really like about it is this detail it has in the front. It's just like a sheet, see-through mesh, almost lace type of thing going on. This next item I got is kind of random. <laughs> it's Roxy, what do you call this? Swim thermal uh, peas thing? I forgot to call them, but you know, you wear it when you go surfing or when you're in the water for a long period of time so you could insulate yourself and not get hypothermia. If it fits you, maybe I'll keep it because I kind of want to learn how to surf and stuff. So this might be helpful in the future. It's an Oregon Ducks t-shirt. Vintage looking. A simple basic graphic shirt. You can't really go wrong with that. Daffy Duck, I believe. Yeah. And it says Oregon on his hat and it also says Disney. This next graphic shirt is just kind of random. I like the graphic of it, like I said. Costa Rica Volcan Arenal La Fortuna. It has a little saying here. I don't know what it means, but I think it's just a, one of those souvenir shirts. Never been to Costa Rica, never seen a volcano, but I just like how it looks. A basic graphic shirt. This next item is a pair of shoes. I just thought they were super pretty and cute and they're by Michael Kors. That's what caught my eye and they were also 75% off. But also caught my eye is just the minimal listic details of it. The last item is this Dunian Borg bag. I paid a little bit more for this, more than I usually would, but I really wanted it for myself. I've been looking for a new shoulder bag since I sold my fossil one a while ago and I kind of regret it. And I found this one legitimate Dunian Borg bag. I just really like it. It's really cute. I haven't used it yet because I need to wash it and stuff. That's what it is. Um, they priced it at 20 bucks and I got 25% off so it was around 15 still a little bit higher definitely for a thrift store price but I really do like it for myself hopefully I could wear it at least 15 times so I can get my money's worth out of it hey everyone I thought I'd just do a little bonus haul I didn't want to film a separate video because they're just a very few items so excuse my face with a lot of skin issues but let's just show you what I got I'm pretty excited for these things once again it's a little 11 men's jogger size medium looks brand new. I don't know why this person donated it, but pristine condition. Has a little ankle cinch and then just basic joggers, the back pocket, and moving on. The very first item I found that is Burberry. That wasn't overpriced. It is, there is some issues with it. It is used, but anyways, here's the tag and stuff. Burberry. Wow. But it is used. It is kind of faded, but it still feels like it could last a couple more years and stuff. It is missing a button, so I have to replace that, but the back pocket buttons are here and it says Burberry. And there is a little bit of distressing, like right here. It is a quality brand, a quality piece, a very expensive sure, I'm pretty sure it was when it was brand new. But yeah, super stoked to have found my very first Burberry item. Wow. Okay. So this is the dress. 
my friends and I were very confused when we first came across this because we were like, is this the front? Is this the back? But I tried it on and this is actually the front. I just have to get some like pasties or something. Yeah, simple black fitted bodycon dress. I think it's great for going out because first of all, it's a long sleeve so it'll still keep me somewhat warm. At the same time, it's like bodycon so it still looks, you know, It'll, it'll make me look good. If you've been watching my previous thrift hauls, you know that I've been looking for a pair of minimalistic square toe black sandals for the while, for a while now, for myself, and I finally found some. These are actually slightly too small for me, but I will make them work. And the bottoms are peeling. That always seems to be the case with older shoes. However, everything else is in pretty good condition. Like, the soles still look really great, and... The straps are still intact, so I'm excited about these. Back to the main thrift video. That's all I got these past three weeks going thrifting. If you like my style or anything I bought here in general, definitely check out my reselling site. I sell on Depop and Poshmark. My username is at Jennifer Gal. And at Vinted, I, my username is Jenny Gal. Thanks for watching it all the way through. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below any of the items that you liked. I hope you have a wonderful day.